This video is brought to you by Audible. Books! Audio books! Star Wars is dead! I'm sick of it! Everything was great until The Last Jedi farted its way into theaters, ruining the character of Luke Skywalker and the legacy of the Star Wars universe. So what? Hyperspace is now weaponized? Why would you build a Death Star when you can just slap a hyperdrive engine on a big old box and then fire it into a planet? Why they threw out George Lucas' original outlines for 7, 8, and 9 is beyond me. He should have been directing all of them. And I wish it was only that one time that Star Wars was ruined. Rogue One had Darth Vader tell a joke. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations. Darth Vader doesn't tell jokes. Darth Vader is scary and mean. And the fact that he dared deviate from the very specific idea of the character in my mind well, that's just unacceptable. And how did Blindy Sticko not get shot here? Is everyone in this scene blind? And don't get me started on The Farce Awakens, a beat-by-beat -beat retread of A New Hope by Jar Jar Abrams. And they killed Ham Solo. And for what? I wanted 10 more Star Wars films with Harrison Ford in the lead until he shuffles onto the Millennium Falcon and his bones turn to dust. Why did Disney remove the old canon to make way for this? What if I wanted Chewbacca to remain smashed into non-existence by a moon? What if I wanted Luke Skywalker to fall in love with the ghost of a Jedi who transferred her spirit into the gunnery computer of the ship, the Eye of Palpatine? What if I could get through the book, Truce at Bakura, and I thought it was great, but now it's gone and it's ruined, which sucks, because maybe one day, you know, I'll finish that book and, I, and I'll love it. I mean, I haven't yet, but what if I did? And the prequels? What are you kidding me with these films? Total garbage. What the hell was George Lucas thinking? He hadn't directed a film in over 20 years, and he thinks that introducing Jar Jar Abrams and giving all the Jedis a mullet is a good idea. Also, R2-D2 can fly? Since when? Why didn't he just fly himself into the exhaust port of the Death Star, plugging it up? You know, like sticking your banana in the tailpipe of a car. <laughs> Not to mention he managed to ruin the original films by inserting a whole lot of unnecessary additions. Why am I looking directly into this idiot's mouth? This Millennium Falcon takeoff scene is completely unnecessary. Actually, wait a minute, that looks, that looks pretty good. And what the hell did he do to this lightsaber fight? When I was a kid, I remember it being action-packed and filled with so many flips and spins, like the prequels. It makes no sense that it looks like this. Bring back the original way that I remember it. I mean that it was. And did you know with the introduction of the new canon of Star Wars books in the early 90s, they erased all the previous Marvel comics? There's so many classic stories. Remember when Darth Vader grew really big, I think? Or maybe, you know, everyone else got really small and he played chess with them or something? It was incredible. Also, Luke Skywalker had He-Man's yellow bob haircut. He Why would you throw this away? early 90s Lucasfilm. And Return of the Jedi was shit. Luke and Leia being brother and sister? Where did that come from? This bit where Luke doesn't have his lightsaber, and then he did have his lightsaber? Continuity error much, you dickheads? And The Empire Strikes Back took everything that was great about the original film and ruined it. I wanted Luke and Leia to get together, not Han and Leia. Also, does this asteroid have an atmosphere? How does this space worm survive in space? Where's this space worm space helmet? You know what? I agree with this 1980 review from the Washington Post. The monkish character played by Alec Guinness is back with sparkling lights on his shoulder and a transparent body to indicate that he was killed off in Star Wars. My point exactly. What, so now people can die and come back as blue ghosts? That wasn't something that was established in the first Star Wars, which was just called Star Wars, by the way. I don't go in for any of these title changes. Star Wars A New Hope was originally called Star Wars, which sucks because even before that it was called The Star Wars, which is what I call it because I'm a purist and a true fan. Also, The Star Wars sucks. Did you know that George Lucas probably originally wanted to get the rights to Flash Gordon, but he couldn't get them so he just made Star Wars? I don't want some B-grade Flash Gordon knockoff. I want a shot-for-shot -shot remake of Flash Gordon, which is entirely indistinguishable from the original series. If I catch a whiff, if anyone tampering with the original material, I'm gonna burn down my local theater, piss on the ashes, then waltz on down to the local police station, admit my wrongdoing, run back to my car, engage in a high-speed chase, and then drive off a bridge and into a ditch to my death. Because driving into a ditch is the real Flash Gordon. Hollywood is just an SJW money-making merchandising factory with all their toys and their product placement and their women. The whole thing is a farce and I'm sick of it, quite frankly. Hey, have you heard of Audible? Audible have an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more from the leading audiobook publishers, broadcasters, entertainers, magazines and newspapers, and business information providers. Audible and audiobooks are a fantastic way to read without the inconvenience of using your eyes like a goose. You can listen anywhere. You can go for a little jog whilst listening to your book, which helps your fitness 
as well as your brain fitness. You'll be a whole new you in this new year of whatever year it is now. Also, as a recommendation, I'm gonna put forth the truce at Bakura, but for something better, probably. Try how Star Wars conquered the universe. It's a fantastic insight into the franchise and the minds of all its creators. If you like Star Wars on any level, this is... Look, it's real good, man. What, what do you want? It's great. Audible, though, is offering anyone watching this a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. Just go to audible.com slash Sunday and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs. Then you download a title for free and start listening. It's that easy. So go to audible.com slash Sunday or text Sunday to 500 500 to get started. Also, don't forget there's videos here every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Click subscribe to get any of that. And also my podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and TV shows and comics. That's back this Monday. That'll be linked below. But if you want everything in the one place, if you go to planetbroadcasting.com, all my videos are there, plus my podcast, and content from a whole lot of other people who make better and more entertaining things than me. But thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. Take care.